Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today we're going to be trimming our Amazon Puffer's teeth. So, for anyone who doesn't know, the Amazon Puffer has one of the fastest growing beaks or teeth out of all of the freshwater puffer fish. One way to reduce the growth of these teeth or beaks is by feeding them a lot of hard shelled or crunchy foods, but inevitably you will have to trim their teeth. Most people say that you'll need to trim their teeth every six months, but I've had mine for about 18 or 19 months now and this is the first time I've had to do this. So there's a few different ways that you can trim their teeth. One way is that you can put them in clove oil which will sort of sedate them a little bit and then you can trim their teeth. But this is actually really dangerous and if you're doing it multiple times throughout their life it could lead to some health problems. The option we've decided on is basically just catching the puffers, holding them and trimming their teeth. There are risks involved in this too, obviously if they're out of water they can puff up, but we've spent the last 18-19 months becoming really friendly and familiar with our puffers so they seem to be really calm when we were actually handling them. Just a disclaimer here, a lot of the footage I had like my hand in the way so I never really caught this puffer getting its teeth trimmed much so you'll see a lot more teeth trimming with the next one. But as you can see, swims away quite happily and he's perfectly fine. If you want to try this option, here's a few bits of advice. First off, the puffer fish are a little bit slippery like any fish, so using a set of surgical gloves to hold on to them gives you a really good grip. Secondly, a lot of people say that Amazon puffers teeth are just like fingernails. Now, we found them to be actually really quite hard and we did try and use a pair of nail clippers but the nail clippers were far too big. So if you wanted to use nail clippers you'd probably have to use baby ones but we found that a set of surgical scissors works really really well because they have a little tip at the end that was easy just to get in between their teeth. My last bit of advice would be just to be confident and try and do it as quickly as possible. Also, don't worry too much about them being out of the water from time to time because it's almost impossible to do all of this under the water. Ours never puffed up, never tried to puff up and as you can see from the footage following, they were perfectly happy afterwards. So thanks for watching, if you have any questions just ask, as you can see all three puffers are swimming around quite the thing and 
they're perfectly fine. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.